of a deal. Um, but I think whenever you're playing the Slaughter or Dark Sir, you really want to be punishing the safe lane. If you're not able to do that super early on, then now oh, Puppy rotates him. in. He started the search. It's only level one. This will be first blood up for the top lane in favor of Team Secret. Even with the Observer Ward, he didn't back up in time. And as Team Secret moving over there, the second night time really begins. Yeah, I think this uh, this last pick, PL, like worked so well for this lane. It's not here we traditionally see, but there's no way you're ever landing a crush against the Doppelganger. He's got a lot of armor, so doesn't mind tanking the creeps under the tower. And the Epsilon rotates to the bottom. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna back up the map, make sure I don't drop. Ke Keizu is is really I mean, he knows the cooldown's gonna begin. Keizu gets hit by that, the stun and the sunstrike. So Keizu will drop to the sunstrike, gives a kill over to Firo with Pilotized rotation. If he can get the spirit on to Bada, they'll find the return kill. So an off laner for your safe laner. Pilot Eye might have been the one to get the kill. Mid one probably would have preferred it himself, but they have the extra consolation prize in the form of the lion. So it's Pilot Eye again who takes the kill. Yeah, that's uh, a nice couple of turnaround kills, and they don't even lose their tier 1 towers, so if Fada TP's back down here to farm, then Secret knows that hey, this Gyrocopter is trapped here, they could potentially rotate on him if he goes to another lane, then Keizu will have absolutely free farm bottom, so those two turnaround kills are like super huge, because it forces Fada to make a choice. Is getting that? Yeah, he is! <laughs> he oh was, wow. Uh, he was running around him with Iron Shell, using the... Uh, the he's okay, he's denying the tower out. Yeah, he is kind of trapped here now. Perf may look to try and burn him a little bit. He's starting to get slowly chipped down, but still has the doppelganger. Relocates on the way in. Perev turns the ulti on, actually hits three heroes with it. He needs more help, however, and then looking at him, Yapsor pulled in, able to get the crush, the Sunstrike's on the way in, hits on mid one, but with the cooldown as well, Bada joins the engagement, Meteorite drops as well, they'll relocate back out again, but Pylai oh. die will burn in the mid lane. The Phantom Lancer also died underneath the cooldown of Fada. Fada was and um, brings him closer to his first item, which appears to be a Maelstrom, is his first item. Trouble, bottom lane. Interesting. Spirit jump in, and this is one very dark seat, dead dark here. They can't do much to stop that, but the Iron Shell burn damage, which is in the lane, now they're going to get it removed by creating conversions. Space from this. Get someone to TP in towards the mid, have that large amount of, uh, of first damage, and it's the Enigma who's coming in. So Keizu, well, it was nice knowing you, man, but they commit the finger and the sun strike. Yapsor with the crush actually finds the kill. Yeah, both teams have potential to take these early fights. A lot of it is just about how the moves are made. Mid one, he's going in for this. Instantly hexed up. This will allow Vero to go in for his. While they deal with the Rubik, he'll move back over. One quick attack will find that one. Mid one, no mana. Of mana. There's your back as well as Wall kicking in. And MP looking towards dealing with Yapsor, but the crush will hold him there. The relocate, it pulls mid one out to safety, but he still wants to go back there and rejoin his teammate. MP's on the run for F, was burning him at the One of the players that doesn't actually go for Veil very often on this hero. Goes for the Aqua into the Maelstrom after Yops or he just ran up to the Dire Observer Ward. They had all, all the vision in the world for this one. Puppy's gonna steal crush, pick him up, throw him back in again. So Puppy does find the kill. Committed the level four fate. Fights and pushing out these lanes and can maybe chip away at towers that Puppy way, but breaks the smoke, doesn't instantly go for the telekinesis, however. And Adam, well, there's one purge dominated creep that's there. They'll get the stuns, but now Tornado connects onto the Enigma. Still got the issue that Adam is stuck on the stairs. He could not get back down again. And she ended up oh, with mid one. It's too much pressure being applied to the bottom lane. Like Fear is going to show himself here, and, uh, and they'll understand that uh, Bears don't have enough defense for the mid lane. Sunstrike's kicking in, hits pretty heavily on Pala, and I kind of forget that Sunstrike is always able to do a whole lot of damage from very, very far away. And MP being amplified up to Dark Sea, a little bit too much damage. Puppy keeps the control up, and they've got extra mal for some black hole. They really want to commit it. Hasn't happened just yet. A puppy, wall of replicas stolen. Fada gonna try and clean out the line, and he actually has the opportunity as Yapsaw, oh. who got the instant stun. The second mid one went in there, he got the crush on him. Yeah, he had the haste rune. I don't know how mid one always is. For Bears now with 4k experience being their advantage. If the grabs are going up already, they'll continue to go that way for the time being. Yeah, and you know, it's fights like that. Ooh. We're gonna go on bottom lane, mass spirit middle. Puppy actually stealing call out from Fada. Fada doesn't have enough life to survive and Keizu into the black hole, instantly cancelled off. Just trying to hold the dark seer in position. It did its job while the rest of Bears just looked to TP back out again. They'll be able to do one who's off the map right now. Can always be rotating from the shrine, although they have a did they put up another ward? Okay, no, so they can't actually see this shrine. 
Yeah, he's actually TPing onto the creep. Gonna look for somebody. Yeah, looking on that perch creep with the relocate down. They find Forev in the trees. He actually wants to go. Okay, back wall. No TP scroll available at the moment. So Forev just has to kind of man mode this and accept his fate. But with the PL illusion, he's almost killing Pylai Tai. Pylai Tai's relocate will end up saving him. They're splitting the farm very, very evenly uh, across C uh, Seeker, which I think is, is quite good. Oh, jump in. They found Farda. Capsule. Wondering if he needs to help out just now. As Farda is so low, the stuns won't stop him. MP just a ball hole on the front lines. And Secret room for mid one. Mid one's happy to reveal himself. Uh, Yapsok just. Uh, he wants to go in with the blink dagger. Right now, Adam is just bait. Through and through bait. But Puppy's still got the stolen call down. And Light, he died in the second missile. Almost. But with the relocate in, they find Yapsor in the tree lines. Deafening Blast won't create any kind of space. PL just dodged him with a doppelganger and Fada stands his ground. Fights Pilot Eye in two seconds. Will be relocated back out of here and he'll take a friend with him. Mid one, he'll successfully. Oh. No! They get the stun off! So close to that TP being completed and that's a huge fight with now for Bears. You no know, game to find a good black hole. And there isn't a target they necessarily want to solo black hole. They could. Atmosphere is going to go into the pit. As now, Vegas. All grouped up. Puppy, here comes K2. Three men for the black hole. He managed to find it. And now, with the control, Gyro will fall down. They do have the Aegis Immortal. That's what's going to allow him to come back to life again. But with no Invoker and surrounded by four heroes, there's no way Fata can survive. MP with a double kill. And they're not done yet. Adam is on the run. He'll be a consolation prize. Too easy. Triple kill for MP. A perfect fight for Team Secret. Yeah, that was huge. Mid one was able to throw in the triple remnant as well, so the invoker just absolutely melts. Oh wow, Secret got the Roshan yeah, kill as well. They actually got a die killed Roshan and Fada snatched the Aegis of the Immortal. Yeah, they're storming down mid lane, so they're definitely gonna force buybacks. So they have it on the Invoker and uh, the Gyrocopter, but they definitely do not want to have to use it. And it's th those fights are sort of just like the difference between uh, you know what what ends up happening with these networks. Gyrocopter and Evoker up on top, but the lion just so poor. The slaughter only having the blink dagger. Oh, puppy, pick him up, throw him back. He's still got the crush available. A little bit early on the crush. Yamso might have enough space to get away from this one, but it's all meant to just be buying time. They have fortification as well. Ten seconds up. Or 10 seconds until the gyro as well as the invoker are up but this is still enough time for team secret to bring down the tier 3 tower this will open up shrine options and potentially they could bring down the melee racks but they need to be quick about things mid one tornado flies through his post mid one as well as mp puppy with that solid meteorite is it no he's actually got the crush but he's dying inside the base the melee racks is still alive for now and the rest of team secret are bailing out after Luke on the invoker more supports in the neighborhood Keizu waiting for that right opportunity with the Sentry Ward down, they can't just hide inside the Invis, but Yap saw high movement speed. Mid one, that's on the other side of the tree line, a quick Yule Scepter up towards the air, he'll kick the ground again, but maybe almost dead. Maybe with a fact back, he'll survive further in the tree lines. Yap saw will be fine. We still haven't had a kill just yet, but it might be Ferev. He's the one being initiated off by MP, and they're in the back lines. Firo able to bring down the Ember Spirit with a call down from Vada and the flat cannon damage. It already did his work. They moved their attention towards MP. The line Last big core on the front lines. He'll jump up with the, the missile ganger, and the missile will be chasing him. I don't know if it's enough damage to kill him, draining off the mana. But keep on running, the injured Phantom Lancer. Oh, dodges it. Wait. Oh, <laughs> you oh. Go for one. <laughs> that was close. Kezu's still alive with the tree line. Nate disadvantage. Execute time again. Team Secret actually TP'd out to that shrine, but they engaged onto. I say engage, they lanced and then attack. This is more of an engagement. Rubik stunned up a control. Keizu comes in for the black hole. Hold the gyrocopter position be so low on life. He may decide quickly. That's why they're making the most out of it. With a spirit jump forward. Mid one's gonna double. Support being dragged in, but the line doesn't really want to be there. Now it's really up to Firo if he can really turn this around. Looking for the kill on mid one. There's no real mana. The deafening blast. Pylai die is the lifeline. MP will get the double kill. Moving down to Forever a little bit further to the south. But Invoker. Makes him a little bit beefier. Uh, I haven't seen it. The really the Aghanim's this late. I've seen PLs go for it like a considerably earlier. He switched it to Lincoln, so he's sort of still deciding what he wants to go for. Forev. That's an interesting kind of way to engage. He's basically going solo in on Pylai Die, even though there's two creep waves here. Jumps in, commits the wall, 
And now it's Fira who's on the hunt. He's got a be better target. It's over towards the Rubik. Drops the meteorite down, but now maybe not able to survive. Lincoln's fear was already triggered. They had to create a little bit of more space. And now in comes Kezu. A oh three man black hole. Vada jumped in as well. He wants to go into the wash basin. Will it be enough? Yep, Soul Spirit jump is too. Bears are going to lose everything in this fight. All five down. Team Secret wiping them on the steps of the Dire Jungle. Bottled up in the base, and you know these supports are unlikely to get any more items. The game advances. Firo's gotten up to the Octarine oh, course. Puppy so. jumped oh. in. The hex is there from the line. Able to get the stun. Puppy gets fingered down too. He's pretty low, but oh. here comes your black hole again from Keizu. It got the gyro. It got the Invoker. The two big ones. They'll find the kill. Invoker, where's your buyback? You'll have it available. As chug, 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 chug. We'll keep pushing through. Down to Rev, who retreats back inside the base. They just have to keep chipping. So gyro. Wait for the timing, there's your buyback, Cole snap over an MP, just doppelganger quickly away, Adam with the extra stun, catches the IO as well as I think we're on the back line, Sunstrike onto Ember Spirit, Pylite Eye, BKBs, tries to protect bin one, able to do so, but Gyrocopter kind of trapped a little bit on the front line. Tornado catching Pylite Eye. With the Sunstrike and Deafening Blast, he still can't kill him. That's 2k life they've got to get through. The Lotus Orb is up, so they're both actually going to get amplified. The back back in, Firo, the damage is there, Pylite Eye will drop, so at least they remove the IO nuisance. The question is, can they do much more? You go for For I've actually TP's back to the base, so gonna make sure they get the creeps off of these towers. Yeah. They're gonna cut the mid wave. Meanwhile, mid lane, the sun, oh, the sun strike won't hit his mark. Adam was too oh, early puppy. on his son as well. The puppy on the wrong side of the river. He'll go down and he actually gives over the gem. Oh, I say, gives the gem back to Yapsaw. Oh, the particle effects, they've started. Forev is got a halo. <laughs> Oh gosh, Fada's got a Halo too. What the hell is that? It's happening so fast. What the hell is that? Back into the fight. They're fighting over Roshan. Fada will drop. Here goes your, your PKB Black Hole. The hold in two. The Invoker's gone. The Gyro's gone. Gyro will have buyback. Yamsel just has to jump himself away from this fight. So Invoker, he'll buy back quick. The game is still an alpha. Alpha game. Mid one jumps forward. Gets the Searing Chains over on the Invoker, they're just trying to hold him here, Puppy to help out. But for him, Yapsaw, nice crush, but here uh -oh. we go again, another black hole! Hold him in position, the Darkseer are in Slaughter, they're going down the drain pipe, but they're not dead, they're still alive! The life is there, the Stone Strike and the Finger of Death, it'll hit the mark, the Ember Spirit will drop, the PL's down, buyback is available, what? the Fear is moving his attention over towards the Enigma, he's brought him down too, they still hold the racks, but mid one, how much damage is left in the tank for the Ember Spirit, who's back Back up and alive, Invoker, fight at the tier 4 towers, Pylite Die is still being an absolute nuisance, and MP has finally moved to objective based gaming, taking out the top racks, Yapsaw with a stun, the Ranger still alive, is the only thing which is standing between Bears and the Mega Creep, with the fact into Tornado, a triple kill for MP is doing the work, Fear of Deafening Plus is still not enough, the Cheese is there, the regeneration is there, they're backing out, Ember Spirit, he'll get the Searing Chains off, now drop the Meteorite down, anything you've got, what's left here? Finger of Death is up. Maybe that's the jump. They can kill off Pylite, die with that one. With the stun, with the hex. Yamsaw, he'll get the stun off. They're draining out the mana. Mid one is low. The Finger of Death will do his job. Adam barely survives. The Blade Mel almost killed him, but he needs to stay on the front lines. Keep the hex up. MP turns around too. Lion will fall. Pylite, die in the neighborhood. Invoker is down. It's only Slaughter and it's only GG. 55 minutes. The game will belong to Team Secret. Holy crap. That was an incredibly noble defense, uh, considering the, the deficit they, they were in. Gold, the Garacopter being down, and they just marched towards the base as well with the Aegis. The defense for that long, but secret, the, this Enigma pick ended up just paying off massive dividends. They really didn't have an